Can we throw stuff at logos now? Because there's like 44 seconds of logos and text here. We can't? Why do you toy with my heart, sexy Columbia statue lady? Hilarious credit, but also the movie has time for this. Have you ever felt like you were a little bit different? Clouds. All important movies start with flying through the clouds. And narration. Wait, did I say important? I meant cliche. Couldn't have said it better myself. Who is this young philosopher? And would he like a job? He wants to be smart, but that's lame! Uncreative beliefs. I rescind my previous offer. But you can't run away from your own feet. Someone's never seen Onward. People probably thought that these guys were weirdos too. Well, Alexander Graham Bell is widely thought to have stolen the invention of the telephone, so I'd go with asshole more than weirdo. But Tesla can play lightning like a f***ing guitar, so that's cool. I was saving this for your birthday. Oh my god, is she about to smother him with a pillow? Why is this birthday gift shot ominousing so hard? Hair on Balder! <laughs> What's the problem? It worked 100% as advertised. Right after everyone in the world realized that sardines are super gross. Get bent, movie. Sardines are packed with nutrients, it's salty as hell, and you can have anchovies, but leave sardines alone. Okay, if you have to feed your baby sardines, you grind that shit up into a smoothie. You don't plop entire fish into a baby bottle. This island is an island of horrors. Also, why did they have to eat the sardines just because people stopped buying sardines? The plant should have closed, and these island folk would have to pay high prices for imports, but they would not be forced to eat the remaining supply of sardines left at the plant, nor would they have to continue fishing sardines in these waters. This movie makes it seem like these sardine-eating buttholes had no choice, but they had lots of choices. Okay, but he lives on tiny sardine fishing island, and this room alone is running on the amount of electricity that powers Rhode Island. My point is, this room is a lie, unless his parents are paying $5,000 a month in electric bills without batting it on. I mean, this is bigger than the goddamn Batcave. Does he own a monkey? Exactly how hands-off are his parents. Also, science-loving nerd that has a pet monkey. Could this be any more like Ross from Friends? Radiation Matrix, secure. This movie is 20% techno babble. Why is this dial? Pepper is not the opposite of salt. What if I want both salt and pepper? How am I even supposed to push it real good? Also, the selections on this dial go by very fast, so let's play a game of send or save. Through the miracle of frame-by-frame -frame technology, let's see if Flint's settings match the food he's producing. If they don't, the movie gets a sin. But if they do, we'll remove one. Flint first turns on the MSG and dairy buttons, flicks the switch to fry, depresses the spicy button, turns the sour up, turns the pepper down, or salt up, or whatever the hell that faulty knob does, adjusts the dressing on the side dial, presses several of the temperature buttons for some reason, and sets the final switch to crunchy. So we're looking for something with MSG and dairy that's spicy, sour, salty, fried, and crunchy. And the answer is... Cheeseburger. Even if you count the lettuce as crunchy, which, nice stretch, Elastigirl, the fried and sour just don't add up. Consider it sinned. Double fisting the chow plopper. Shoots with right angles. Don't you think it's time to give up this inventing thing? Get a real job. So many kids' movies make the villains, the people telling the daydreamer to get real, when most adult movies are about how the daydreamer gets wrecked. And I feel like we should do a better job on the transition, maybe. And I'm gonna send this movie for it, because that's when I thought of it. So, there. Dad, I know I can do this. Thing 12-year-old me said to my father, pleading for my first private defecation. It had been almost 10 years since Mom died. Because all animated films have to dead parent in the first 10 minutes. It's in the Constitution. What the f***? At noon! Technically, commercial exposition isn't news position, but it's still conveniently timed exposition via television, so every character in this movie is either Flint or a bully. When we saw those scissors, the blades were pretty big, so where are they now? Are they up his ass? Because that is not what I thought scissoring was. My weekend to-do list somehow ends up in... Oh, that says chum. Never mind. Is it a rally if... 25 or so people show up? I say no. We just need 17,000 more gigajoules. 17,000 more gigajoules?! I love him so much, this is my only son! Then why did you bring him on patrol when he is a wee toddler? That doesn't scream love to me, I'm afraid. It says carelessness. The tiny island doesn't exist, but if it did, people wouldn't take a miniature ferry to and from that tiny island. Hello, Sam Sparks, I'm America! Why on earth is the Weather News Network covering a small town unveiling of a tourist trap, especially considering the plot hasn't even begun to weather yet? He survives this electrocution and fall and the rest of this movie. Cartoon physic. There's so much he survives this here. I'm just adding 20 sins and moving on. Looks like things in Swallow Falls are sardine to get better. Ugh, if Dicer wrote this pun in a sin, I would cut it and cut his pay. And consider even cutting his... Maybe this has gotten too dark. Flint apparently graduated from the Prometheus School of Running Away From Things, but survives because he got his grad degree at the Charlie Chaplin School of Ducking Things. <laughs> Got me again, dang it. My whole career was ruined by some crazy jerk riding a homemade rocket. 
This monkey's headband is so distracting it makes me want to call him John Munkenrow or Bjorgatang Borg. <gasps> Man, that is a gaspectomy right there, and those are always worth five cents. <laughs> what the f man? I would not trust a rain cloud to properly cook a burger to the correct temperature. I barely trust McDonald's to get that right. It really works! Sure, but all kinds of quality rain burgers are landing in the sea right now, going to waste. That can't be good, can it? Remember the words that were all over this door? Well, the movie doesn't. You may have seen a meteor shower, but you've never seen a shower meatier than this. My god, the puns in this movie are making me hangry. This scrolling news ticker somehow notices and comments on what is happening live on the television, which means someone is typing out this scroll live, which is about as likely as someone carving the castle of ah because they died while carving it. Perhaps they were dictating? You will be so proud of me, Dad. Unlikely. Water goes in the top and food comes out the bottom. I could go my whole life without hearing the phrase food comes out the bottom and I'd be happy. The machine uses a principle of hydrogenetic mutation. Water molecules are bombarded with microwave radiation, which mutates their genetic recipe into any kind of food you want. Honestly, I prefer the character just say yada yada. It's a lot faster. Also, water is hydrogen and oxygen. Food is mostly carbon based, so microwave radiation can kiss my movie sinning ass. Pushing, folding, connecting, taping, turning, painting, switching, staring. Excitement? <laughs> This mayoral mother right here, mainlining bacon down his throat, is my hero. Now that's what I call cool tree in motion. I'm adding 10 sins for all the terrible food puns in this movie. Also, look at this little kid with seven or eight turkey legs on the wagon. That's hoarding. My home's official name somehow ends up in, oh, that says cumin. Never mind. Maybe this is the message of the movie, but they are utterly wasting so much food, it's criminal. Do these pear rats fly with butt wings? I'm not buying it. The center of gravity would be all off, and there's no way those things have the core strength to make that happen. I'm glad he made it rain ice cream for that kid's birthday, but damn, that is going to be a bitch to clean up. Ice cream is sticky as f dog. You can't catapult all the ice cream away. God, did no one think this through? Even Steve is throwing chocolate snowballs. Oh. Poop is hilarious. Movie steals the dodgeball joke from Billy Madison, which stole the snowball joke from Dumb and Dumber. So what snows around comes around. Auto gelatinous asphyxiation. Join me. His arm is apparently six feet long. Everything's made of jello. Then why is the piano making music? I'll bet you look great with glasses on. Oh, I'm really happy. And on you. they go. Whoa. Jeez, Flynn, at least get full ocular consent before you go all vertigo on a gal. <laughs> she laughs now, but there'll be no laughter after she ingests glass shards with that steak. Well, there may still be laughter, but it will be a lot bloodier. Metaphorical conveniences. Metaphenances. I realize he couldn't get them off, but he's still wearing those gel shoes. Can you imagine the gangrene going on inside those puppies? Dear condiment Christ in hot dog heaven, did we really need to see Mayor the Hut deep throwing a giant hot dog? Damn, movie. Not to mention that little cutlet Sam Sparks. Referring to women as cuts of meat. If the world found out it rained food on a tiny island, would this many people really rush to be their opening day? Opening day? I've seen inaugural crowds smaller than this. So this is your basic rock star story, right? Rags to riches only to realize the rags were pretty okay? Like the movie Rockstar. I will admit that a spaghetti tornado is a pretty rad idea, but I thought the food was just getting bigger. Why would it be getting tornadic? Do spaghetti tornadoes, spaghettios, do spaghettios act like regular tornadoes? Because this one is clearly rotating counterclockwise when 10 seconds ago it was rotating clockwise. The cruise ships leave the dock without their passengers and that is savage. Apparently it's snowing in Miami, despite a low of 52, which could be a joke, but is it though? Nice to meet you. See, the movie's obsession with food puns has finally undone the whole thing, as no one would ever order beets, ever. Jesus. What are you doing? Well, I tried to help everybody. Look in the sky, it's a giant bag of potato skips. When it rains, you put on a coat. This is the fastest healing of a broken father's son bond since Dewey Cox's dad did a 180 on loving Dewey after cutting himself in half and realizing how easy it is to accidentally cut someone in half. Redesigning! Virtualizing! Sigh? The pancake and butter and syrup all arrive separately, but must have been ordered, programmed together. Not all the ingredients end up in the right place. <laughs> Looting. Hey! The clinching of this guy's butt cheeks while he yells at the rowdy crowd is nightmare fuel. Who the f thought we needed to animate that much less zoom in on it. An ice cream sandwich? The mayor said he ordered a typical Vegas style buffet. Do Vegas casinos have ice cream sandwiches on the buffet? I'm coming with you. You're gonna need someone to navigate you through that storm. No one will be seated during the Independence Day portion of the movie. Water goes in the top of 
food hurricane comes out the bottom. E. coli. The pizza's chasing us! Sentient food? That's impossible! Everyone here would be excellent at cinema sins. Marshmallows would be horrible torches. I've made s'mores before. Those things go from on fire to melty hand lava immediately. Volcano avalanche of food? It's just like Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, only with food instead of dinosaurs. This is the most visually interesting, boring chase sequence I've ever seen. I'm sorry, but grilled cheese is the worst idea for a boat. That bread will be soaked and sinking immediately. Why not celery, or banana boats, or ships and salsa? A up character who has done nothing but f up things so far somehow becomes a badass for no reason cliche. Now hold the f phone here a second. Having fortune cookies drop only on the Great Wall of China is f racist to tell. The filmmakers will blame the machine Flint built, but somewhere along the line someone should have asked if this was racist, but they didn't. No. Like, like you, like you. Is this movie playing her food allergies for laughs? Because I think this movie is playing her food allergies for laughs. Flint's last minute flying car, totally Millennium Falcons, Brent and Sam here. This joke is so far out of left field, I almost love it. But you know me, I'll find sins even if I have to make them up. Spray on shoes! So he saves the day by spraying shoes onto the food uvula to stop it from dumping more giant meals out of its sentient sphincter. Do you even hear yourself right now, movie? Wait, why is Flint's dad crawling out of the transporter potty when the entire lab crashed to the ground? The shoot isn't even connected. It's almost like logic wasn't a priority in this movie. As we pan back in happiness, just look at all that food. That's going to get moldy and dangerous to be around in about a week. These people are all dead, they just don't know it yet. A little floor spice makes everything nice. Make sure you click that bell icon. <clears throat> Sellouts. But clicking the little bell icon is how you make sure you get notified every time we release a video. So click it. <clears throat> Sellouts. Barbecue it. Boil it. Brawl it. I don't want your life. As your mayor, I know it's time to put our sardine canning past behind us and look to the future. Shop smart. Shop S smart. Hey, hey, everybody! What a day this is. Special day. Today is our... Welcome, America. I'm Sam Sparks. Hello, America. Sam Sparks here. Good evening. I'm Jack Barry. Best person in the whole town! Uh -oh! I just want to say once again how truly difficult it was for us to make our choice. Right. A problem with your daughter! It's my son Cal's birthday tomorrow, and I was just wondering if you could make it rain something special. Let it rain! I, I've never actually been in a snowball fight. Really? I, I don't even know the rules. Now, there's a lot of ways I can uh, do this for you. Um, one of them is I could stab him in the nut. Like this? Eh. No. Harder than that. Oh. Hail to the king, baby. Yeah! Steve Holt! 